like random stuff from Kane, right? Okay, I don't know what this is. See, I knew, I remember distinctly remembering what this was. I think you wrapped it around your ankle. If I remember, I, I don't remember what it was though. But this was from that. This is a hat. It's dirty and it needs to be cleaned. And it's a hat from Partnership Walk, which the squad will know about. And I'm going to... I'm going to throw it away. It's too dirty to clean. The stains are too deep. Um, here is some random fucking hotel things that I had lumped in with them. Um, Playa, Senator. Yeah, these are out of the country stuff. These are, these are not United States things. This is some fucking French thing. Petite thing or whatever. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, I'll show you. I'll get a bit closer to the camera. So. This is a Kapataga, I think. That's how you say it. No, there's like another syllable. I'm missing a couple syllables, probably. Gutbat, gut dog. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I don't know what this is called. But this is the thing. The colors of Ismaili Muslims are like red and green. And you wear it around your wrist. Um, and they wrap it around a few times. Or you wear it around anywhere. Faraz has it around his ankle so nothing can like get in the way. It doesn't get in the way when he's like showering or doing anything. Um, it's a really smart idea to have it over there. But they put it around, they wrap it a bunch of times, and then they tie it together. And you're supposed to keep it on. And you can remove it, obviously, and they'll, they'll do it like that. But you can't cut it. You cannot cut it. And um, if you cut it, it's like unholy or whatever. And I not only cut it, I burned it. I was a Redditor, bro. I was a Redditor. I was like hardcore anti-religion. But... Now I can appreciate these kinds of things. That's a really beautiful red they use. I don't like the green, but I like the red they use. It's not like a super bright and sharp red, but it's like, it's, it's just enough. Webcam can't do it justice, obviously. As usual, I need a better webcam. Um, why is it like... Let me do that. That's so much better. Um, my mom's not going to let me throw this away. I mean, she won't know, but I feel guilty about it. I got to give it back to her. And it's cut. Obviously, it's a string. It's not supposed to be like that. It's never supposed to be like that. Um, I'm going to give that back to her. There is these from when I was a volunteer, which is not... It's not all that voluntary now that I think about it, but... Yeah, you get a little uniform, you get these badges. This is from the Golden Jubilee thing. Um, this is just a normal volunteer badge. Everyone gets that. And this is my name. $100 for an outfit. Fucking crazy. This is all the smiley stuff. Look. Afraz Ali on top of that. See that? This is... The Holy Dua. And it's, I believe, oh, it's not in Arabic. Well, they have pronunciation, you know, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And then they have the meaning. And this is, oh, they do have it in Arabic as well. Yeah, I don't see why they wouldn't. This is from when we went back to Kane, sprayed all those fire extinguishers. Um, I've never made that story public, but I will one day. I'll leave it in the description. So the day that it goes public, you'll be able to see it in the description. This is a Thusby that I took. 
which is like this is one of those things you know you're meditating and you need something to occupy your mind you go and you say a chant you know yali 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 yala or yama yama whatever i don't know you guys won't get these things but and you just go one by one there's 11 uh beads on each little section there's things separating them every thusby has this whether it be a little you know like plate in between or whatever it is every thusby has this or they might just be 11 maybe i don't know i've never seen that before but for small ones people keep around their wrist because a lot of people keep them around their wrist so that they can carry it wherever they go um and these are really cool because you can these are, are like metal inside so you can actually bend these and all of them came in like many different designs on here you could see like that and there are many different designs and we'd bend them and screw around and eventually we would try to untangle them like untangle them and make them just a line again because you could see they're just the thing but tangled in some random weird design they're all different um because they're all handmade actually and so somebody made this by hand and so there's 11 of these beads 33 total that's how many you say you say 11 of the chant and dua you say uh 11 of each thing and like the thusby you say and this is a thusby but the thusby is also a, a a prayer and then there's like you say 33 when you're when you're on like the longer days when you're going hard and they're like important historical days and things like that and everyone's standing and saying it all together all at once like a cult no point in explaining how this kind of thing goes you could probably find videos online but this damn i want to keep it i want to keep this what would i do with it because i'm not going to meditate like this no way Actually, it's like a little fidget spinner. I'll keep it over here for now. But yeah, this. And then, oh, there's this. Okay, this is the squad shit, actually. So when, when Raheem went to um, boot camp, military boot camp, because he's in the military, uh, he sent me this. He sent me these. Look at this. Afraz, August 31st. See that? And he sent me these letters. And I said, I wrote him letters back, but I don't know where they are. But I have these, this one, and this one, and this one. Let me just make sure, let me go over these and make sure there's nothing crazy in them. Company, basic training, drill sergeant. rigorous all the way irrelevant drill sergeant However, letters, weekend, phone, parents, Forgot home V's P 
pig. Raheem the pig. And there's this other letter that I got from him too. The thing is, I told him, I started, I sent letters with, um, like, news about car industry stuff. Like, oh, the, you know, the Porsche GT2, the Huracan for Vermonte beat the Nürburgring record. But then the Porsche GT2 came after, GT2 RS came after and beat the, that record by, like, five seconds or whatever. And I was sending him all this stuff, and I was trying to draw pictures of cars to send it to him. And he said, oh... Um, for me, I'm very deprived of cars and I can't read, I can't read his handwriting, bro. Everyone drives pickups and SUVs since Caffeine and Octane is coming up. I'd like some physical pictures of some nice cars. <laughs> My one request is that you send me the pic of the most badass Mustang there is and an F-Type. Hey, I can respect that. I can respect that. He drives a modded Corvette on base. Ooh. There's another letter. Afraz, first off. If you sent this fabulous yellow, yellow paper, you are fabulous. Yours truly, yours truly, pink Koji Clutch. I told y'all he Koji Clutches like that. I told y'all. I'm giving this to, this to squad. I'm giving this to squad. This belongs with squad, and so does this, which is the timer from way back when, from the first like major sleepover we all did back in 2010. I was 10 years old. I think Faison was probably nine. Um, it was my 10th birthday, actually. It was in the living room. We were all sleeping down there, and Faison kept setting this fucking timer Hell no, don't go off. Okay. That's so fucking annoying. But we also got to put this. I also got to give this to the squad. This is from the fishing thing that we did. And this, we completely fucked up the fishing rod. And these are the remains. There's this, which, there's the button. And there's this. These are the remains of the entire fucking fishing rod from from when we used to fish, like a couple times that we did. And we never really caught anything like that. That's for squad two. This is an old belt I used to have. There's no way it would fit me. It is long enough, because I remember it was super long back then. But this was the coolest belt ever. Look, it had two things. See that, it had two things, and there were these things Everywhere. And they got really concentrated right here. But I never even used the concentrated side. I want to see if it still fits. This is super small. I remember it being way bigger. Like, this was pretty fucking big back then. It was, like, really wide, you know? I was, like, eight, eight years old when I started wearing this regularly. Oh, look at that. I'm onto the concentrated part now. What a fucking accomplishment. This is, this looks terrible. This looks like, this looks sexual. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing this away. I doubt anyone in my squad, my squad might, might remember that one. Because I wore that belt all the time. It was so cool. Faze, Fazon does drop shipping. And, you know, he had many, many stores. I shouldn't say what they are because, you know, even knowing what people's niches and... 
having the confirmation that, oh shit, it works. This guy went from nothing to buying a house. Um, even, even knowing that somebody who's deep into the game and has done their due diligence and their wisdom and trying to figure out what works and what doesn't, just knowing what they do is, is enough to, uh, is enough to get an advantage in the game. But he doesn't run the store anymore. There wasn't much money to be made. Legend of Zelda. Look at that. Little Triforce. It's a cheap AliExpress thing. There was a piece stuck on top and there was another piece stuck on top of that. They both broke off over time. I used to have it on my keychain, then I had it on my car, and now I can't have it on anything because it doesn't stick to anything because there's no hook left on it. Cheap as fuck. Um, Faison was like, yeah, hey, I got it in my dropshipping store. I'll just send it to you. And he just, he just gave it to me. And it, he was right. It's cheap as fuck. I'm going to keep it with this stuff, actually. Um, this is all, like, childhood stuff, actually. Yeah, this is all childhood stuff. So, here is the old Xbox controller. Let me take this out. The Xbox original, like Xbox, Xbox, you know, not the Xbox One, but the actual Xbox One, because the Xbox One fucking sucks. But the, the first Xbox is amazing, and it looks incredible, too. It's a, it looks like an Xbox. It has an X on it, by the way, if you didn't notice. We never had any wireless cables for the Xbox, I believe, but we did have wireless cables for the GameCube. Later on, we got a gray one and things like that. And there was a purple one too, like a purplish pinkish one, like a lighter one, not the not the default like purple bluish, the bluish one, but it was a different one. But yeah, check it out. Look at this huge fucking cable that goes in there. Look at that. And there's this Xbox. I don't know what these were for. We never used them. Beautiful placement. This was really weird. These buttons were hardly used in games because they didn't know what to use it for. And nowadays they're not used, um, but they would use it for things occasionally and they would use it for like changing the camera or things like that. And it was really, it was weird. These were odd buttons, the black and white ones. I can see what they were going for. I mean, back then there was no like precedent for this kind of thing. It just so happened that the ABXY formula worked out so well, um, but it never needed to work out like that. And then the D-pad, which has always been kind of garbage until the Xbox One controller. And then the start and back button. There was a back button? I never knew there was a back button. I never knew there was any of these buttons. I couldn't read. Um, like literally I couldn't read. I would just play the games. And no bumpers, only triggers. Interesting. There was even a bumper on the GameCube controller, which I have right here. But it's not called a bumper, it's just the Z button, or ZR, or Z. Well, I mean, I guess it's just Z, but on other things, it's like ZR, ZL, like the new 3DS and stuff like that. Because you'll have it on both sides, but this one was bumper. And even though it, it has a clickiness, see? So even though it sound, even though it looks like it's, like a, it goes in, there is a clickiness to it. These are the triggers. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. All the way, extra click. Like a camera focus, shutter. Ah, oh, man. Amazing, amazing. A, B, X, Y, C stick. And, and then these things that like lock it in place. Amazing, amazing. This was the best controller of, of any console ever made. This was literally the best controller. Try to find a better controller. Try to think of a, a single better controller than this one. You can't. I get what they tried to do with the N64 controller. A jack of all trades. Try to make a control for everything where you could decide which way you want to play it based on what game. People, games didn't understand that. And, and they didn't use it to its fullest potential. But this. <sighs> magnificent. Chef's kiss. Let's see. Got a bunch of games too. Hmm. 
Need for Speed Underground Rivals on the PSP. Oh, wait, hold up. I got to take all this stuff and put all this stuff there. And I got to send a picture of this. Faze responded, he said, legendary, when I sent the Halo thing. There's this. Wait, what's inside? Nothing. GameCube, Mario Party 6. <gasps> Mario Party 6, it's in here. Don't care, not gonna play it. It was a fun Mario Party, though. Maybe one day. Um, Mario Kart Double Dash. Electronics Boutique. I've never heard of that store in my life. But yeah, this was... This is the most fun Mario Kart ever. <laughs> Action Replay DS. I have it. I have it. I'll show that, too. <coughs> NBA... Live 2003 on the original Xbox. And it's NBA 2K7. As usual, we're mixing up the CDs with the with the discs with these. Oh my god, okay. The Chronicles of Riddick, right? Of uh, fucking Vin Diesel. Um, this was a scary game, dude. This game freaked me the fuck out. Especially, like, the healing things. Like, all the things getting poked in him or whatever. That shit was traumatizing, dude. Um, but then the, there was that one time where he got poked all the things and he got, like, five health bars instead of four natural ones. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm a fucking god right now. That was really weird. Pharrell's enjoyed this game. He was, like, trying his hardest to actually, like, play it. Um, I just wanted to play Midtown Madness 3. Um, because the Koenig's like, and the Corvettes, and that one, uh, Lamborghini, not the Lamborghini, there was a, there was like a Ferrari Testarossa, or Ferrari something, but that one was a really, that was a fun game. Lots of, lots of really cool cars in there. But, inside the Chronicles of Riddick, there is a Russell Peters DVD. We used to watch a lot of, we used to watch everything, everything. In here... On the original Xbox, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. And this fucking car, dude. The Mercy Lago, one of the best looking cars ever of all time. I gotta send this to him too. Because FaZe grew up on Need for Speed as well. Need for Speed Underground and shit like that. And I believe he was also on that Hot Pursuit 1 wave as well. But I never played Hot Pursuit 1 like that. $8. Eight dollars used. Damn. What a fucking steal. And lastly, when Game of the Year actually used to mean something, the Game of the Year on the original Xbox, Halo Combat Evolved. The fucking legendary... Wait, let me see what's inside the for speed. I have it! There's nothing in here. Yeah. I could feel it. It's lightweight. But yeah. Those are all those games. Wait, I gotta send him Halo as well. I'm gonna have to probably give Halo Combat Evolved back to Furhaz. Um, wait, is this the? Oh no, this is. This is, Need for Speed Underground Rivals, PSP. These game discs were so cool, dude. For the PSP, they were so cool. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got? 
Are the lights getting dim? Oh, they're turning on. This is the sunrise lights. Um, let's see, let's see. So along with these game cartridges on the PSP, I was more of a DS kid to be honest. There was like this whole like war between the DS kids and the PSP kids way back in the day in Kane. And you know what? Fuck the PSP kids. I get it. Music, right? But you ain't never experienced Picto Chat on a plane, dude. That shit's next level. That shit's fucking... That's the dark web. That's literally the dark web, dude. Spongebob Atlantis Square Pantis. I can speed run this game. Um, I can't speed run Flash Focus or Brain Age or any of those educational games that my mom bought, you know, for me to use. She thought, okay, it's on the DS. Of course I'll play it. No, I didn't fucking play it. Oh, shit. This was fucking iconic. This was such a fun game. Super, like, low-key, super fun game. Uh, I don't know if anyone actually talks about it, but it was Super Mario Advance 4, but really what it was is Super Mario Bros. 3. Dude, this shit was, like, peak gaming. Peak gaming. The, uh, the, the fun factor of this game reaches the highest levels of any of any game. Let me put that back down, and, uh, oh yeah, like I said, action replay D DS, I have two of them, I don't know why, I, I think, I, I don't know, listen, I lost a lot of DS games, I lost a lot of DS's, I've lost over the course of my life, like, Four DS's. Well, one of them got stolen. I, I know who stole it, but I could never get any proof. But yeah, two action replay DS's. Um, and of course, I don't have my original DS's anywhere. They're all gone. But I do have this stylus. It's different from the one I showed earlier. Um, same stylus, but it's different in that I found it. And then I have this, the 3DS, with no game inside, but this was a fucking technological marvel. This was a work of art, and the, it's beautiful, dude. It's beautiful. You got to see it in person. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the, the, like the, the sparkliness on it, oh my god, and the clickiness of everything and mine still has the fucking retractable stylus retractable and yeah i'll take this and go like i yeah this is used this is used hella there's like thumb nail marks on the d-pad or on the analog stick rather and then the D-pad and each of these on, wait. I know the meme. I doubt this will work, but. Yeah, no, it's out of battery. It's out of battery. It worked with the DS, but it, not the 3DS. Volume, SD card, two gigabyte in here. I already fucking know it. I wonder what's in there. And then the 3D on and off. A, B, X, Y, wireless connectivity switch. Amazing. Headphone jack, lights for on or charging, or battery versus charging. Crazy. And two cameras for 3D. So it pieces the images together and you get 3D. Crazy. Fucking crazy. 
I'm still stunned. This is a a work of art when it comes to hardware. There ain't many other things like this, bro. There ain't many other things like this. And I'm gonna give it to Zob because he's been asking me. He hasn't asked me in like five years. But way back then he was like, yo, you don't use your 3DS anymore. Let me get 3DS. And I'm like, bro, I might use it one day, you know? But now, now I'll give it to him. Here's this. Mario Kart Wii. See, I thought I was good at Mario Kart Wii until I saw like the, the pro fucking time trials peoples and the people who do like the fucking um, ultra shortcuts and things like that. I have the controller in here. No battery, but this was really fun to use. Uh, let's see what else. Oh my god, yeah, there was... This, which is the nunchucks. And if I ever had the opportunity, I would play with the nunchucks versus not playing with it. Always, every single time. Um, I know when we played... Smash Bros, me and the squad, we played Smash Bros. Uh, you know, they play with one controller sideways like that. And they got used to it. That's why we're not pros. But I would still play with the nunchucks, still. And then there was this case that I had on it. This, like, uh, rubber uh, skin, right? Silicon, silicone, right? And it's so smooth, dude. It's so smooth and so perfectly machined. And it's perfect. It's perfect. I love this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to throw it away. Um, what else? Don't have that much stuff left. My old glasses. They look pretty familiar, don't they? Yeah, I've always had these style, these rectangular Ray-Ban style glasses. I never, ever... Uh, well, when I was really little, I had, when I was six years old, I had red glasses that had Mickey Mouse at the end. That was so cool, but I broke them when I got mad one day. I threw a tantrum and broke them. Then I had blue glasses after that. And like I had, I've had glasses for a long time. That's what I'm trying to say. But since I was like 10 or so, I've been wearing these style glasses and I never wore anything else. Um, oh, here's some foam Nerf bullets. And here is weights. These are not supposed to, these lights are supposed to go from like completely dim to start to turn on. But they're like this because they were already on to begin with. Um, I have this from my old house, but it's not going to do anything because my fingers are on it and they're dampening the sound. Um, I have this, which we made way back out of paint and then for us as an F for his name we made it out of like uh we just painted these in some fucking thing I don't know we did a lot of a lot of crazy shit a lot of like artistic expression shit when we were little tons of it I'm sure everyone did but yeah now it's all coming back to me we were doing this kind of stuff all the time making going to random art classes doing like making clay fish and things like that clay pots and stuff all the time my mom might, might want this, actually. Um, this 
states and capitals wrap. Wrap, wrap, states and capitals. This is just so I can learn. Rock and learn. Oh my god. Uh, this was from Disney World. Or something, yeah, Walt Disney World. Happy birthday of Froz. It wasn't my birthday. They just said it was so that we can get extra free shit. I don't think we even got anything, but um, we did buy this. We bought a lot of stuff. I don't know where any of it is. We bought this and... Oh, the button doesn't... It's out of battery, but this is supposed to light up, I believe. Walt Disney World. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay, there's like nothing else left here. There's a few things left, but... There's some of these... Some of these, um, these little stars that I used to have on my ceiling when I, before I would go to sleep. They were on my ceiling for years, dude. So many years. Um, I had a lot of beanies when I was little because um, my mom would cut my hair and she'd make sure I had my hair short while also making sure my Head wasn't cold, so we I wore a lot of beanies. None of these fit me now. These are very, very tiny. Like, to show you, to give you, put in perspective how tiny these actually are. Like, this is, this is, I think, the smallest one out of them, maybe. And let me, let me come around. There's a cable in the way. So this, this one is... I can still fit it over my head. And kind of fit it over the back. That's it. Wait, if I if I drop it all the way down. It works. It works. This is a legit beanie. But as you can see, it's a tad bit tad small. It's a tad small, just a tad. And the rest of these aren't any better. This one's, this one seems pretty small. Let me try it on. But it's stretchy. I can do it. I can do it. Can't even tell. I might just wear these actually. They're not clean at all. And if I was to wear one, it would be this one. It would be the, it would be the criminal beanie. But there's like a bunch of hair and, and dirt all over it. Yeah, no. Um. I'm sure this has some significance. I just don't know what it is. Uh, this was a shell that I got. I named it Tim. It was from a vacation that we went on. Went to the beach and everything. I got it from like the gift shop. I didn't even get it from the beach. And I wanted a pet, so I grew an attachment to this. Because I watched that episode of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody where they got a horse named Tim and they got to keep it as a pet for like 10 seconds. And I really, really resonated with that. And I'm like, this is my new pet, Tim. If I can't have a pet horse, I'm going to give a pet rock. And you know what? This is better than a pet rock because it's organic. Um, okay. Look at this. I had these Star Wars gloves with Darth Maul on them, and then I had this glove. Look at how big my hand is compared to this glove. It's such a little baby glove. That's so cute. I wonder if I'm going to try to put it on. I can do it. I can, if I put my fingers all the way through, I can, I did it. <laughs> D 
these I think will be a bit easier. Maybe not. No, I can... There's a Velcro. I shouldn't, but... It's dirty as fuck. This is dirty as fuck, dude. Okay, I'm stretching it to its limits. I'm, I'm, I'm not like, this is, a, this is about all it goes. It, it, will it Velcro? It will. Okay, this is actually kind of hurting my hand a little bit. Yeah, I know. Wait, I didn't show it. Okay, we bring this here. Ta-da! Okay. This Velcro sucks. Or it's just worn out over time. And the inside of this is kind of trash too. This whole glove sucks. I don't know why. It's just Darth Maul. It's just the fact that I had Darth Maul that I wanted it. But these are like, you know, the gloves that I would go use to make snowballs. These are good gloves. The, the, these ones. But I always had big hands. When I was 10, my mom made me do this. Plaster of Paris. I like drew some stuff in here, but this was my hand. With like all of the imperfections and everything. Obviously, there's no holes like that in my hand. Those are bubbles in the plaster. We didn't do it right, but yeah. Yep, my hand is uh, significantly bigger now. Not by much, though. Not by much. I've always had really long fingers. Always. It's This is just really skinny. You can see, like, it's just really skinny fingers. My hand now is just a scaled up version of that. But in fact, my hand might, now might be even skinnier than that. If I bring in this a little, see? Yep. So these are a bit thicker, actually. Damn, have I gotten skinnier? Nah. This is from my old shower curtain. This is a piece that used to have the hook on it and it broke off and now I just have it. A Land of Falcon's Helmet. I used to have a little collection of coins. So, and and my uncle used to give me a lot of big coins. I used to go there and be like, hey, well, big coins, let me get some big coins. Because it used to, not big coins, big coins, because it used to happen a lot. Um, and he always had a different coin for me every time, every time I'd go there. Um, and I don't know where any of those big coins are now. I think my mom has them, but I'd love to get them. Here's a Chuck E. Cheese token. Here is a Putt-Putt No Cash Value Golf and Games token. Here is a five rupee coin from when I went to India when I was really little. Dude, five rupees is nothing. Oh, this one I went to Dubai. This is a, I also went to Dubai when I was little. This is a United Arab Emirates. How many is this? I don't know. It says the number in Arabic, but I don't know what that says. This is some arcade coin that says Vegas. Yeah, and 
Here's another Chucky coin. And another one. And here are three of those, you know, you take the penny, you put it in the thing, you crank the thing, and it flattens out the penny. Um, defacing currency, even though that's illegal, but I guess, you know, nobody really cares. So I have three of these from three different places that we went on vacation to when I was little. And here is the only big coin that I actually kept, which is fucking huge. Um, a Chucky coin is about the size of a quarter. This is a Chucky coin right next to one of these. It's huge, and it's heavy as fuck. And there's an eagle on it. I thought it was a silver eagle at first. It's just a $1 coin. Dude, I have $1 coins. And they're like the gold, like the, not actual gold, but they're like, you know, the slightly bigger than a quarter of $1 coin, slightly thicker and stuff like that. This is fucking huge. This is United States of America, E plurimbus, E plur... Ebus Unum, one dollar, nineteen seventy four. I don't know who the fuck that is, but yeah, this is, this is that. Yeah, it's like this, the eagle. I love to get my hands on the other big coins, but you know, I have no clue where they are. My mom has to have them. My mom knows where they are. They're somewhere. My mom knows, though. Um, and the last thing I have to show is this. I have more to show, but later on. Not now. From school, actually. I should have put this with the other elementary school stuff, because I made this in elementary school. And it all comes right back to school. A frazz painted on a little shirt. Obviously, it's fucking tiny compared to me right now, but not by much, actually. Um, I can't still wear it. Maybe, no. But yeah, it's all come right back to school. That was... What a fucking waste of a stream.